There are now about 250 more people who can save a life in the Big Bend thanks to Leon County's Press the Chest CPR class. ABC 27's Car Bailey takes us inside the Tucker Civic Center for a look at what they learned today. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation is a simple skill that could mean the difference between life and death. We know that for every minute you're in cardiac arrest before we arrive on scene, that you your survivability decreases by about 10% for every minute you're in cardiac arrest without CPR. Minutes survivor Brittany Roos knows are critical. Who would have thought at the age of 24 that I would be fighting for my life? She and her family visited a bar in New York to watch an FSU game. Shortly after they arrived, what her parents thought was a seizure turned out to be cardiac arrest. They said, see if there's a doctor in the restaurant, and they didn't bring back one doctor. They brought back two doctors, and they were both eye doctors, and neither one of them knew each other, and they got down on their hands and knees, performed CPR, and brought my pulse back, and those two guys are the ones that saved my life. Leon County's free annual Press the Chest class aims to put more lifesavers in every room by preparing attendees with hands-on training on skills like how they can do CPR on an adult, uh, a, a child, as well as an infant, as well as what they can do to help someone who has an obstructed airway or is choking. Um, and they're also going to teach them how to use an automated external defibrillator, which would shock someone that's in cardiac arrest and hopefully restore their, their heart back to a normal rhythm. Moselle Hawkins made the drive all the way from Jefferson County to the Tucker Center just to learn these skills and be ready to protect the people she loves the most. Because who knows, you never know when something's going to happen, like I say, and I've also got grandkids that I'm interested in, you know, in case something happened with them. Hawkins is now one of more than 1,000 people Leon County EMS tries to train in CPR each year to step in while medical help is on the way. We, we absolutely know that someone needs to intervene in those instances in the moment when it happens and this is just one way to, to expose that to the public of how much of a difference they can make. In Tallahassee, Cara Bailey, ABC 27. The attendees were also able to take the instructional kits that you saw there with them home to share their new life-saving knowledge with family and friends. So if you saw that and you said, wow, this is something that I wish I could do, don't worry. There's more information about other opportunities to learn CPR with Leon County. Just visit the story on our website. That's WTXL.TV.